the crossword puzzle? What? You done with it, or are you memorizing? Be my guess. Something wrong? You go to Penn, or teach at Penn. Wait, you know Rico Tiberio? Who? He owns a disco on King's Road. I thought maybe I'd seen you hanging out at one of his parties. No, I don't think so. No, wait, have I seen you a lot in the train station? I. Mm -mm. This is gonna drive me nuts. I know, I know you from. I got it. That's soap. Oh. Yeah. You don't look like you do on that show. No? You're a lot prettier. Oh, thank you. On TV, I mean. Thanks. So, what's your name? Saybrook. Margaret Bedford Saybrook. Heard of me? I get in the papers from time to time. I've been kicked out of more prep schools and nightclubs and the whole rest of the social register lumped into one. Punk heiress, K.O.'s bouncer. That was my favorite. Well, I'm Megan Harrison. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry I must have missed your headlines. Got a cigarette? No. Doesn't matter. They don't let you smoke around here anyways. They already caught me at it twice. Really? So, what do you do? This is it. Waste time and run up humongous hospital bills. Been here a week, that's why I'm in such a good mood. Hmm. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm supposed to be going to college. I've already gotten expelled from two of the seven sister colleges. So what are you here for? To meet guys. I mean, what better way, right? Especially if you look as great in a robe as I do. Right. So what are you really here for? Maybe I don't want to answer your questions. Maybe I don't want to share my disease with you. Sorry, I was just trying to be friendly. Forget it. It doesn't matter. I'm here. I'll get my own newspaper. Hey, look at you, Hi. up and about and everything. Mm, about? I don't know about that. It's good to see you. Good to see you. You look great. Well, not as good as I do on TV. What is that? <laughs> Nothing. Something that girl said. Oh, yeah. I saw you talking to her. So who is she? She's a punk heiress. She recognized me from the show. Uh -huh. Actually, I recognize her, too. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. From where? From my mirror. She reminds me of myself years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that obnoxious, huh? <laughs> I feel, well, she's pretty hard-shelled. She's very angry. Is that how you were? Angry? Oh, I know. That's hard to believe. Mm, especially, I don't know, looking at you now, you're so mellow. <laughs> All right. That's why my life is so perfectly in order, right? Glad to see you. How about another hug? You got it. Mm. <laughs> Can I get one of those, too? Hey. <laughs> Matter of fact, I got. Listen, I seem to have lost a, a young patient out here, so if anyone sees someone wandering around the halls, tell them I'm in the office. All right. What kind of a young patient? A boy patient or a girl patient? Overaged rat. I gather you've met. When I woke up and I heard that you were all right, I can't even believe that the transplant took. I mean, can you imagine your prim and proper kidney sitting inside my party-time body? <laughs> well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. After all, you may have gotten Nikki's kidney. Uh-oh. In which case, you're in for the ride of your life, kiddo. Is there time to rethink this? Nope. <laughs> Look, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, man. And I know you don't want me to thank you, but what can I say? Really, you gave me life twice. No! Come on, Pam, why? You heard me! 
Get me in half the hospital. I'm not taking your lousy medicine. I don't have to. Marty, we want to get you well. I'm getting real tired of this wee stuff. We are going to eat our powdered eggs, aren't we? Where would we like our shot today? The right cheek or the left? Turn the other cheek takes on a whole new meaning with you guys. Who is that girl? She has lupus too? Yes. Well, her lupus is completely manageable as lupus normally can be. But the rest of Marty is about as unmanageable as you can get. She came in here with, uh, with digestive problems. No appetite, couldn't keep down what little she did eat. And she's been a bundle of joy ever since. Oh, a regular sunflower. Well, what about her family? Well, she has any family. It's news to me. She was directly transferred over here from University Clinic. Doesn't she get any visitors? No, not a soul. Oh, that's sad. That's terrible. Why don't we try and uh, cheer her up, keep her company, huh? What do you think? Well, I, mean, I don't think she's going to make it easy for you, but... Uh, well, that's for me. Listen, you guys go back to your respective rooms in five minutes and rest. Yes. Boring suggestion, Larry. Yeah, well, I uh, get paid for being a doctor and spoiling everybody's fun. Take care. Bye. Bye, honey. Well, should I be my pushy self? What do you think? Well, I think it's worth a try. Go get her, Mom. All righty. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Yep. Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you want? You don't have to yell. Can't hear you. Well, you could hear me if you took the earphones off. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to talk to you. My name is Victoria Buchanan. I gather you've met my daughter. Well, we heard that uh, you don't have a lot of family here. We wondered if perhaps you might like to... Uh... Hang out with you two live wires? No, thanks. Join our conversation? No, thanks. You'd rather be alone. You got it. I find it hard to think that anybody would want to be alone in a hospital. What, have you done a survey? Mrs. Buchanan? Yes. You have some visitors. They're waiting for you in your room. Oh, thank you, Joe. Megan, darling, I'll see you in a little bit. We'll meet up later, huh? Any visitors? Too busy for visitors. I've got such a full plate. Trust fund, Ivy League education. All this in lupus, too. How could a girl ask for more? I'm sorry. Sorry? No need to be sorry. My cup runneth over. Any more I'd have to mop it up. So it must be hard, having lupus and no one to visit you? Don't confuse no visitors with no one to visit. There is someone who could visit. I have a guardian. My aunt, Kiki Saybrook. What a word, guardian. Picture with a sword and a helmet and her bulging eyes looking through the visor. So where is she? She's got more important things to do. It takes a lot of energy to maintain a perfect set of nails. She doesn't have the time. Which, frankly, is probably all for the better. It's not like she'd give up a kidney for me or anything. Or even a perfect nail. I'm sorry. Forget sorry. It's a wonderful world, haven't you heard? I expect to live to 100. Great. You have a boyfriend? Nope. Just me and my lupus strolling through the sunroom doors. Don't those folks know that uh, you're recovering from surgery? What folks? All those visitors. I mean, what'd they do, charter a bus? Don't they care if they're wearing you out? 
Well, they're not wearing me out. My family's the best medicine in the world for me. Those were all your family? Yeah. Oh, I'd sure like to get a dose of that last guy who was here. Kevin. Hmm. Talking about me, weren't you? Oh, Reverend, you gonna let her lie like that? And is there any reason we shouldn't be talking about you? What, are you looking for a new character to play on TV? If I were, who would I be playing? Your standard poor little rich girl. Episode one, she loses her family. Episode two, she gets sick. And episode three? She sits around with a couple of nosy people with nothing better to do. What's your game, Rev? Want to convert me? Uh, no. Isn't that your job? What they pay you to do to save souls? You get a bonus if you beat your quota, Rev? His name is Andrew. Like the Apostle. So, uh, you know your Bible? Oh, here we go. Come on, now, I'm just trying to make some conversation Isn't with you. Isn't that what uh, Jesus said to Mary Magdalene? Well, I don't know. I wasn't really aware of the exact dialogue at the time. I've tried all you guys, Andrew. Now, which guys is that? I used to be a Catholic, but I let my membership lapse and got into Buddhism. And when that didn't work out, I tried Judaism for a while and then took a shot at ethical culture. Oh, you got around. Finally found the answer, though. Oh? Drugs and alcohol. Nothing beats good old DNA. So, Reverend, unless you've got something really unique to offer, like a pocket full of lewds, you're preaching to the wrong sinner. <sighs> she can be a real sweetie pie, can't she? Yeah. Sure seems pretty tortured. I mean, I, I couldn't help her, that's for sure. I couldn't even get through to her. Oh, don't tell me you're going to blame yourself. Well, no, I'm not going to blame myself, but I'm sure not going to give myself a standing ovation either. I got a uh, wedding rehearsal I have to go to, so... Go, go. You spend too much time with me anyway. Impossible. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. I must be weird. What? Having Mr. Holy Holy for a boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. He's in love with you. Is this any of your business? No more than my life is yours. There's a lot you can say about me, but I'm not a married woman with a reverend chasing after me. 